Now we will make the boundary diagram for the scissor jack as shown over here. So this is a simple mechanical device which is used for jacking up the vehicles during repair or while changing the tire. Before making the B diagram we will understand the various components of the assembly. So there is a base bracket over here which is supporting the weight. There are rivets which are connecting the lower links to the base bracket. Then there are pins over here. This is a pin. This is a pin which is nothing but a revolute joint. And there is a screw over here which is a lead screw which is the main functional element. There are upper links which are connecting to the pin and then there is a top bracket which is going to connect to the vehicle body. So this is how it operates when you rotate this hook using a handle as shown over here. Because of the rotation of the screw there will be a linear movement of the pin relative to each other. So these two pins this pin and this pin will come closer to each other as shown over here. And because of the kinematic linkage the top bracket will move upwards and that is causing the jacking action. So now let us make the B diagram for the scissor jack. So this is the boundary this is the product boundary and within this all of these parts are located. So the rivets the lower links so these are the lower links the lead screw the center screw the upper bracket this bracket the base bracket this bottom bracket the center pins this pin and this pin which are threaded through which the lead screw goes and then the upper links these links and the hook plus bearing so this hook and this bearing over here. So what are the external elements which come in contact with the jack? So the first one of course will be the vehicle. So the vehicle will be in contact with the upper bracket. So we will insert the jack below the vehicle such that this upper bracket will touch the body of the vehicle. So there is a physical contact as well as load transfer which is happening between the upper bracket and the vehicle. Then we have the user who is operating the hook and rotating the lead screw using the handle. So this is the handle which will be used to rotate this screw. So that handle and the user will be considered as an external element out of the boundary of the product. So there is physical contact and also there is load transfer because we are transferring the torque which is responsible for rotating the lead screw and hence operating the jack. The other element is of course the ground on which the bottom bracket is being rested and where it is getting its support. So this is the bottom bracket and the bottom bracket rests on the ground because that's where the reaction force will come and that will allow the jack to be operated. So again over here there will be a physical contact and load transfer or energy transfer. So the bearing is connected to this pin over here. So that is a connection physical connection. Then also the hook plus bearing is connected to the lead screw because the hook is directly connected to the lead screw and rotation of the hook is rotation of the lead screw. So there is a physical connection as well as load transfer. And also there is a connection between the lead screw and the center pins. So since the pins are internally threaded, so the lead screw is also having a connection with the pins. And there is also load transfer which is happening, which is basically causing them to come together when the lead screw is being operated. So it impinges, the lead screw impinges a force on these two pins. And also these center pins are connected to the upper and lower links which is shown over here. So the pin is connected to upper link and pin is also connected to lower link. So again physical contact as well as load transfer takes place. The base bracket is also connected to the lower links. So the base bracket which touches the ground is connected to the lower links this link and this link through rivets. And the upper link is connected to the upper bracket. And all of these are connected with rivets as shown over here. So this rivet is connecting the base bracket to the lower links. These rivets are connecting to the upper bracket to the upper links. So from this diagram we can understand the load transfer. So the user applies the torque on the hook which in turn applies it on the lead screw causes the lead screw to rotate. And because of the rotation of the lead screw there is a linear motion of the center pins. So these pins will tend to move inward. And that is because of a force which is being impinged by the screw onto the pins. So that force is shown over here. And hence these pins will impinge a force on the links which is in this direction. And that will cause the top bracket to rise and hence the jacking effect of the vehicle. 